Well, praise the Lord and welcome again to Coffee in the Word. We're going to have a great time in the Word of God today. We're continuing to teach along the lines of, of renewing your mind, of changing your life, allowing God to do a mighty work in your life. You know, we saw in 1 Thessalonians 5.23 that God Himself wants to sanctify you. He wants to separate you from the world, separate you from your past, and bring you into who you are now in Christ. He wants you to be sanctified spiritually. That means your heart, your inward man, and the Lord does that by you getting born again. Then He wants to sanctify your soul, which is your mind, your will, your intellect, your attitude, your thought life. He wants to get your thinking straightened out so that you begin to think the way God wants you to think and not the way the world thinks. And then He wants you to present your bodies to Him, that you can keep a, a, your body under control and that your, your flesh doesn't control you, but you control it. And you know, all this operates through the mind because the Bible teaches us that our greatest warfare is in the mind. Paul wrote to the Corinthians and he said, our warfare is not with physical opponents, it's not in flesh and blood, and it's not doing all these things. He said, but the weapons of our warfare are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. And then he tells you what the strongholds are. Casting down these vain imaginations that exalt themselves against the knowledge of God. He's saying your greatest battles will be in your head. And he says you're going to have to learn to take the Word of God and get your mind straightened out and think like God wants you to think. And you do that by getting in the Word of God. In fact, over here in Ephesians chapter 4, he tells us here in verse 23, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind. Be renewed in your attitude, in your mind. That's where you get your attitude. That's where you think right. That's where you, you develop your, your, your personality comes from. You know, you begin to, to see yourself. That's where you think positive or negative. That's where you think you can or you can't. That's where you have confidence or you don't. And so he says, be renewed in the attitude of your mind and that you put on this new man, which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness. Notice this, he says, the way you put on this new life is get your mind renewed to who you are in Christ. You begin to see yourself as God sees you. and You begin to, to, to think like God wants you to think. And you do as God wants you to do. It's so important that we learn to do this. In 3 John and verse 2, listen to what he says. Beloved, I pray that above all things you may prosper and be in health. Now listen, even as your soul prospers. Notice this, he says, your life, your health, your prosperity, your success as a Christian has, has, is dependent greatly upon how you think. And so he says, here's what you're going to do. If you get yourself spiritually renewed, spiritually and mentally renewed, it will affect how you live your life. It'll affect your prosperity. It'll affect your healing. It'll affect your life. And I found that to be so true in my life. The more I renew myself to the Word of God, the stronger I'm in faith and the more victorious I am in life. Now notice what he says. For I rejoice greatly when the brethren came and testified of the truth that is in you, even as you walk in the truth. Notice this, you're to walk in the truth. Now in John 17, 17, he said, sanctify them with your truth, your, your word is truth. So we can say it like this. I rejoice greatly when the brethren came and testified of the word that is in you, even as you walk in the truth of God's word. I have no greater joy than to hear that my children walk in the truth. So if you want to prosper, you want to be successful, you want to begin to turn things around right now, quit talking defeat, quit thinking failure, quit letting the devil think for you, and let God begin to influence your thought life by getting in this truth and not only thinking it, but speaking it and doing it. And as you practice the Word of God, as you begin to see yourself the way that God sees you, you'll begin to put on this new life, and your Christianity will leave the altar of the church and begin to work in your life. And that's what God wants you to do. He wants you to understand that getting born again was not the end. That's the beginning. Now, learn to live this new life in Christ. It's there for you. And a lot of it's going to start. This new life's going to start. Once you make Jesus Lord, it's going to start right here in your head. By renewing your mind to think like God wants you to think. Amen? So today, I challenge you. Get in the Word. Learn the truth. Speak the truth. Walk in the truth. And let the truth determine who you are and what you have and what God's blessings be in your life. Amen? Listen, we appreciate you, love you, thank God for you. Appreciate all the, the, the good response that we're hearing, and I, I thank God for that, and it just is encouraging. We pray for you, and we believe God for good things to happen in your life. And until next time, I'm praying for you that God's very best will be yours.